Hey guys, it's your girl, Lashes Tony XO. How are you guys doing today? If I look a little sick, I'm not. Don't be worried. I just have no con um, conditioner. <laughs> I have no foundation or, um, what am I trying to say? I have no foundation or concealer or bronzer or blush or any of that stuff on my face. Like I usually do. Or highlight or anything. Basically, um, the only thing I did was prime my skin. And I wanted you guys to see uh, my skin up close. Because we're doing a foundation review today. So, um, so you guys can see that I really do not have foundation or concealer on my face. See? Okay. Nothing on there. Okay. Um, so I asked you guys when I did the drugstore haul, I said, what, what would you guys, what foundation would you guys want to see, um, a review on first? And most of you guys asked to see the, um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, this one right here. So that is the one I'm going to review today. And we're going to talk about it. I've got my phone here with, uh, Tells about the foundation, how many colors, um, the claims, and stuff like that. And I wanted to show you guys, in case you didn't see my um, haul, it does have like a spatula um, um, dispenser. It doesn't have a pump or anything, but at least it's, you know, it does have something. Um, and this retails for $5.99 at Walgreens. Can't beat that with the stick. Um, I also heard if you go to Walmart, it's $4.99. So, if you have a Walmart, you might want to check out Walmart. But I did get mine at Walgreens for $5.99. Um, and I got the color Buff Bisque. If you're kind of like a light to medium, I do have bronzer on. So, I do have a little bit of tan going on. That's why my face looks really sickly. <laughs> because, um... Yeah, I do have a little bit of a tan going on, and um, I have a hair somewhere that's bothering me. But anyway, so also I wanted to tell you guys, got me. I haven't had frappuccino in forever, and this is my favorite flavor right now. If you haven't tried it, go get you some, girl. It's the butterscotch uh, frappuccino. What is it? Smoked butterscotch frappuccino. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So every Friday, as long as I have a foundation foundation to review, I will review a foundation for you guys. Um, so like I said, everybody wanted to see this one first. This is the most comments I got was the Wet n Wild one. But I also have the Maybelline Dream Cushion if you want to see a review on this. Um, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. I have the Rimmel. 25 hour lasting finish which has been around for a while but and then I also have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea this is more of the high end and it's more of a liquidy foundation but if if there's any foundations that you want me to review I have so many foundations you guys so if there's any kind of foundation you want me to do a review on I'll be happy to do so if there's a new foundation that I don't know about um comment down below like I said from now on on Fridays it's going to be my foundation reviews and I'm excited because I like to do makeup reviews and I don't do that many and um so let's just get started with this look I'm going to go ahead and do the foundation I don't know not what I want to do. I want to read you the claims. What's wrong with the brain? Okay, so this is what it says. Your skin only better. Um, our new high-performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera, camera ready makeup every time. Um, especially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin Hashtag no filter perfection. Um, it says it's high performing breakthrough formula featuring light adjusting complex to help prevent white casts and photos. Now that's the major claim. Um, and the other claim is it's been tested under seven different light conditions 
with um without with and without uh flash photography so basically they're saying it's really good for pictures you don't have to worry about having that like white uh where it looks like you have like white makeup on your face you know and so also i want to tell you um like on on the uh, web wet and wild website it is five dollars and 99 cents and on the web wet and wild website they have let me count how many they have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten they have tw there's 20 different colors if you can say that okay so there you go on that i just wanted to let you guys know now let's get started i'm gonna go ahead and um get my little hair clip so my foundation doesn't get in my hair i hate when it does that instead i've already primed my face with the poor professional so I'm just gonna like pull my hair back a little bit. This does not want to stay up. Super cute though. So I don't care. Okay, let's do this. Let's we'll shake this bad boy up. Shake me up. Shake me up. Hear that liquidy stuff? Okay. I don't really know the coverage on this. Um, I have a brush and I have a sponge. But I think I want to use my sponge. Um, I might try it out both ways, but I just feel like the sponge is probably the way to go because I don't like a really heavy foundation. Where is my other brush? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's in my little... It's where I keep all my brushes in. This is the It Cosmetics um, Airbrush. Complexion Perfection in 115. And it's pretty flat, like a, it's a really good foundation brush. I don't really know if I want to use that one, so I don't know. We'll see. Also got this Girl Techniques one that's kind of good for foundation, but it's very, like, firm, so I don't really know. I don't know what I want to use, so let's just dive in. Um, like I said, I went ahead and did most of my makeup. Um, like the lips and the eyes and the brows, you know, did that first primer. Don't have any concealer. I've got to put concealer on, but I'm, I'm going to do that last. I like to go ahead and do foundation. So, okay. So here's the spatula. Again, I'm in Buck Bisque. Um, I'm just kind of, I think I want to dot it, um, just like each little section. I know some people might think this is not sanitary, but I don't really give a crap. I have a few bump, little bumps right there. Okay. Um, put a little bit under my eye right there. I'm not going to put a lot on because I don't know how heavy coating this is. And I don't want like a crap, crap load of foundation on my face. Um... So I'm looking in the mirror right here, and I'm just, just going to kind of bounce it on my face and see how the coverage is. Um, I would say it is a medium coverage. Um, I'm still seeing the little bumps that I, the little breakouts I have from it being that time of the month. So, I'm sure you can build this up to total full coverage. That's what I've heard anyway. Um, so, we will see. I'll just do this side with a sponge and then I'll go get this brush maybe I don't know if I want to use that brush or this brush and I'll just use this brush to buff out the foundation over here I'm trying to see which side I like better hmm 
Okay, this is with the brush and this is with a sponge. I only put a very light coat, but I still see a lot of like imperfections that I would normally cover. So I might try to cover it a little bit more. There's a little bump right there. Uh, there's a bump right there. There's a bump under my lip that's driving me crazy. There's a little bump on my eye. I'm telling you, when it's that time of the month, you know, girls, we just, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay, so, because I don't want to put too much on because I'm not going anywhere today. I'm just testing out makeup today. Um, let me try this one. I want to see what this does. This is just a real techniques, um, foundation brush. Try to get as close as I can to my, I already have lipstick on, but. I just want, um, I don't want a cakey foundation. I just want very natural, but natural, but covers, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, cause I'm still going to probably put concealer on and powder and stuff like that, but I'm just going to do it like I normally do my makeup guys. I'm not going to do. I'm not gonna do anything weird just because I'm reviewing it. I'm just gonna do it just like I do my normal foundation routine. Um, so basically that's all I'm gonna do as far as I don't want it cakey. So that is it. Um, I don't know how it wears throughout the day. So it does look pretty matte. It does not look shiny or um it feels very lightweight and it does not look shiny at all um so i'm gonna like use my my uh what is this maybelline color stay and i'm just gonna i can still see the little tiny pimples that from that time of the month breakout thing uh and um there's not that many, but there, there's a few, and they're really bothering me. So, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to conceal under my eyes. So, let me just get the sponge and see if it works better for the breakouts that I need to cover. Um... Okay, that helped a little bit with the pimples that I had, those small pimples. And now I'm going to go in and basically just kind of put some tart shape tape under my eye. And, because this is what I normally do. I just want to see if this... I don't want any kind of foundation that makes me um, shiny. Because I have um, very much like oily to combo skin. Um... I don't know how this would work with dry skin, but honestly, it kind of feels like anyone can wear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's very matte, but not too matte. And, I don't know, I don't have anything bad to say about it, but of course I haven't worn it all day, so. Okay guys, so I just did Highlight and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm gonna do powder. I'm gonna put you guys on hold and I'm gonna go finish my makeup and come back 
talk about what time it is and then we'll do a check-in and I will kind of give you my thoughts on this foundation so be right back with the magic of YouTube okay guys I'm back with the finished makeup this is how I normally do my everyday makeup and I am gonna do a everyday makeup routine for you guys if you're interested in seeing how I do this look this is kind of like how I do my makeup every single day it's nothing major um if you want to see that comment down below and that video is coming up soon and don't forget um like i said on fridays from now on i'm going to be doing foundation review fridays please watch those and let me know what you're interested in so let's look at the foundation um i will tell you what time it is um it is 11 um, lunch time. Um, let's see if I can show you guys. Well, hurry up and do it. Um, okay. Having problems with my phone, people. Okay. There is the time. So it's lunch time at 11. And I will kind of check in with you just a little bit. Um, I have a lot of things to do today, so I probably won't do like a full day. And plus, this is not a all-day foundation, so I don't expect it to do like wear all day. But I do want to come back and check with you and see how oily my skin gets. I do have highlight on like I normally do. I do have bronzer on. I have blush on. Everything that I would wear normally, I have on. So, yeah, so we're just going to come back in a little bit and check with you, and I will let you know how long um, the foundation lasts on my skin, if I get shiny, and if I think it's worth $5.99, and like I said, at Walmart, you can get it for $4.99, and I have heard of, like, CVS being a little bit more expensive, I think it's $6.99, maybe, at CVS. Um, but yeah, just check your different places and you can get it cheap. Um, but again, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Finish, no, Photo Focus, sorry. And I will be back shortly and I will check in with you guys and let you know how this foundation is doing. It actually looks really good right now. So, yeah, wish me luck. I'll be back, guys. Love you. Be back in a minute. Or in a little bit. In a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go eat. Love ya. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so we had a little pause there because I wanted to do some errands and eat. And had some things to do around the house. I had video to upload and I had lunch. Um, I'm wearing this long lasting lipstick so didn't come off. Um, it's the Kat Von D. Didn't come off, so that's really cool. But, um, and as far as the foundation, um, for $5.99, I would say go get you some. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best foundation I ever used, obviously, because I did have to use some concealer kind of spot treat a couple of my blemishes because it's that time of the month boohoo but I did have to spot kind of do some little spot treatments I don't know if you can still see them but um from what I see um they're not that visible um so I think this is really really good for $5.99 and like I said if you go to Walmart you can get it for $4.99 can't beat that you guys I mean it's pretty much buildable foundation you can do a light coat and use a beauty blender and make it more light and you could do medium to light to medium sorry um and use um like i did use like um a brush i used this real techniques brush and i also use this it cosmetics brush kind of like this brush a little bit better um just kind of blend it in and this gives more of a full coverage so if you put like i would say put two layers of this foundation it's definitely going to give you a more 
I would say medium coverage. I wouldn't really say full, full coverage um, compared to like something like this, like my Urban Decay or what else do I have? Or my Marc Jacobs. Um, it's not full coverage like this, but I do think it is like um, a good medium coverage. Like I said, and it did not get super oily or greasy, and I do have oily to combo. I was not out in the sun today. I was mainly in the house, so I didn't really get to test it out in humidity, but it is a little hot in the house, but, you know, like I said, I just did chores. I ate some, drank some coffee. Um, like I said, my lipstick is good. Um, if you're wanting to know about the Kat Von D new long lasting lipsticks, they're really good. Go get you some of that. Um, but like I said, you can't beat this price. I would definitely say you're not going to lose your money on this. It's definitely worth it. It did not give like all day claims. But wearing it for, let's see, I put it on at 11. And what, where's my phone? I don't have my phone over here with me. Um, but it is about 3 o'clock, so I've had it on for a few hours, and as you see, my makeup still looks really, really good. I did not do any touch-ups or anything whatsoever. So, yeah. So, I'm definitely going to give this, I would give this a totally, if I was going to grade it, like, as far as A, B, C, or D, or F, I would definitely give this a B plus for foundation. Um, because number one, the price is amaze balls, and I did not, it is very matte. I did not get oily, and usually, like two hours, I'm super, super oily. I'm already blotting, so this was really good. I almost want to give it an A minus, but I'm gonna give it a B plus. Um, but I think it's a really great foundation. So, that is my review for this. Like I said, if you want to see, uh, I'm gonna start doing um, foundation Fridays. So, whatever foundation you want me to review next, leave it in the comments. If you like this review and if, it, and if it was helpful for you guys, please give this video a big thumbs up. I just want to say I love you guys to pieces. You are my YouTube family. And I hope you have a good one. Bye, guys. Love ya.